Hey again guys and welcome back. I've got five packages so it's time for another mailbag but I have to warn you I don't know what a lot of these things are. Some stuff is still trickling in from March so let's get started. First one up is this one. Uh, it's a screw nut times one and I think this is from March to August 13th. Um, it's going to be tough to tell because um, this long ago stuff drops off the uh, eBay selling purchases thing. Oops. So it's wrapped up, but it, it's like opened. Not very well wrapped up. But uh, yeah, what these are... Uh, M3 by 10. So I think, yeah, M3 by 10 by 6. I think these are actually exactly what I ordered. Um, let's take a closer look just because they're so small, but I don't think there's going to be that special. So here they are. Um, they are M3 screws with a Phillips head. That looks like a number one Phillips head. Um, so being M3, they should be slightly below three millimeters in diameter. Can you see that? Oh, you can see it at this angle. So 292. And they should be by uh, 10 by 6. I'm not sure what 10 by 6 means. They are nearly 10 mils long. I mean, pretty close. So yeah, I bought these because I can make enclosures and stuff with a 3D printer. But I still need hardware to kind of tie it down. So uh, I don't have any good M3 hardware aside from really long ones. Like these guys and they are a pain in the butt to uh, shrink down. So these are what I got. But I feel as though, yeah, the bag is open. And they didn't do a good job at closing it. So, yeah, they're a little bit everywhere. But other than that, I needed to fill up some hardware. And so, hardware I have. There's a uh, 100 here. Next up is this one here, which is a module times one. Um, May 8th to August 4th, $3.26. Let's see if it's actually a module. Oh, looks like it. Oh, yeah. This is indeed a module. Let's take a closer look at this thing. I think this thing is super cool and I don't know why I didn't get one before, but this is a expansion shield for an Arduino Uno and it is a CNC stepper shield. So you can make a little homemade CNC device like an engraver or a, um, a drawing bot or any Core XY type device. And this is made to stick in like so. There we go. So that is that fits just perfectly on there. See the, the um, USB just sticks up there. So you put your um, power in here. On top here are these uh, A4588, something like that. I'll put the I'll put the name under in the description there and these little stepper drivers they fit right into these top things here they're all standard footprints and then you get a stepper motor I think these are 4988 something like that and you get your stepper motor and you plug it in there and then you can program um, the Arduino to run a XY type machine so this thing is actually incredible. And there's one other thing that I didn't actually know, which is odd because I really should have known, is that you can use this with a Arduino Uno or an Arduino Mega because the Mega has just the extra pins this way. Um, Learn that from another maker. So there you go. So this thing is going to be awesome. I do have something similar already. This here is a ramps board, and this is uh, specifically for a 3D printer. This one came with a few issues. You can see 
a little bit of the track is chewed up there and a little bit there as well and one of my poly fuses are kind of broken but this was supposed to be the heart of a uh, new 3d printer that I'm gonna put together and it might still be I just probably will order a new uh, ramps board and I'll just take these steppers right off of here and pop them in um, to the new board but yeah um, I do want to get into making sort of XY mechanisms because uh, there's some ways to build them that is very inexpensive so it's very beginner friendly and it starts with these CNC shields because this is uh, 330 uh, Canadian so it's like what 250 American so 250 for this uh, five bucks or four bucks for the Uno and a couple of steppers and you're off to the races. So let me know if you want to see a project with this coming soon. Next one up is this one. Uh, six times eight millimeters, uh, 47 UH, uh, June 9th to July 20th. So this one's actually pretty quick all told and uh, four dollars and six cents. So I'm guessing these are inductors. That's a lot of inductors. Let's take a closer look at these. And yeah, inductors indeed. Got a whole bunch of them, 50 I think. Um, I think those go with those um, the XE5252 from the previous mailbag. I think these are part of a, um, a, a jewel thief circuit, but uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm guessing they're just going to be windings of copper around a ferrite core, but I guess there's only one way to find out, and that's by opening them. Get in there. I don't want to break the uh, copper so I was trying not to cut down the whole heat shrink, but I guess, guess I kind of have to. There we go. There we go, got it open. So yeah, basically just a, a copper winding around a um, inductor core or a um, ferrite core. Looks like a little spool and it's protected by this heat shrink probably because this wire is not really wrapped all that hard. I do have a component tester. We can give this a shot. This is 47 uh, microhenry. So let's see how, I thought it was 4.7, but it's 47. Let's see how this fares. Can you see that? Yeah, you should be able to see that. Uh, 0 0.05 millihenries. Uh, 0 0.05 millihenries, yeah, that's 50 microhenries, so it's actually pretty close on 0.7 ohms of uh, equivalent resistance. So that's pretty good. Let's try a different one, see if it tests the same. I might do this to a few, see if they actually test properly, and then we can move on. Oh, this one's a bit lower. So that one's maybe like four three or something. I think it'll be okay though. I think it's just for like the jewel thief type circuit. Let's try one more. It'd be cool to characterize them, but God would that take forever. Yeah, I think we're good. Sweet, so I got 50 of them for um, whatever that was on the envelope. We can move on to the next one. This is our penultimate package, and uh, this one I actually have no idea what it is. I'm guessing it's 450 March 26th, August 4th, um, because I think it had several labels, one on top of each other, and you can't tell what it is. Yeah, well, you're welcome. Oh. Very interesting. Let's take a look at these. All right, so I went and checked and this was July 22nd ordered, um, August 4th arrived, so really quick. $5.68 and what is it? 
these are uh, nylon standoffs. So they're used for all sorts of things, but basically they have sort of like an M3 thread that goes all the way through, and you can put um, M3 screws on them. So these are some examples of them that I have on another, on this uh, holding up my tester here. And I don't have too many of these, so it's really good that I've got them. Is this too dark? Let me brighten it up for you. That should be quite a bit better for you. So yeah, you use these to space things out so you can make uh, stacks of things. And then they have M3 threads, so you can use, you know, either the metal screws I just got or sort of like the um, plasticky nylon type. Uh, well, th that's not actually the screws. These are some bolts, but kind of the same thing. Um, and yeah, these come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. I have an odd use for these, which I won't go into just now, but um, it does have to do with robotics. So we'll see if they work for that. And our very last package for the day, um, June 10th to July 20th, um, $4.93 and it is a Bluetooth module. I have a feeling this came as a recommendation from another maker. We're about to find out if that's it. E yep, I think it is. Let's take a closer look at this. And indeed, another maker has sung the praises of this little device. Um, so this guy here connects to your Arduino. You see here the uh, state RXTX ground, five volts and I guess enable. And apparently this just straight sends um, serial data to whatever is connected via Bluetooth to this module. He says, and I quote, that this is super easy, no installs, no hassle, it just works. Well, if a dum-dum like me can figure this out, then we will call him truthful, but until then, I remain doubtful. So yeah, this just a little module to add Bluetooth connectivity to your devices um, straight up to your phone. And I'm guessing if you have something like Node-RED running on a Bluetooth enabled device, you might be able to actually sample from this directly. We'll see about that. But again, I'm excited to try this out, but I don't think in the next 10 minutes I'll be able to get it to work. So I'm not going to do a demonstration just yet. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below and I will make it a priority. And this electronics potpourri makes up for today's mailbag. I want to give a special thanks to my Patreon patrons who get early access to these videos. It's their support that makes it possible to buy these cool things and let me do cool projects. So if you want to become cool like them, go over in the link in the description below. And even if you throw a dollar a month, it helps a lot. If not, just make sure you are subscribed and you comment. And that allows my channel to grow to other people watching YouTube. It really does help. YouTube really does push it and it really does help. So thanks again for watching.